Ennis, a 30-year-old young man, was a true master of procrastination, a skillful avoider of responsibilities. His home, situated in a quiet suburb of the United States, was the stage for a silent battle between generations. Ennis, with his unkempt appearance and unruly hair, was a constant presence in the living room, where the bluish light from his video game screen cast an unreal aura upon his face. Ennis's parents, Anthony and Monica Levinson, were two gentle souls who were aging rapidly due to the worries and burdens they carried. Anthony, with deep wrinkles and gray hair, was a man of few words. Monica, on the other hand, maintained a worried expression as she rushed around, trying to balance the household expenses and the small business of selling cakes and sweets they maintained. A typical day in the Levinson household consisted of Anthony and Monica working tirelessly in the kitchen, while Ennis, wearing a worn-out hoodie and always clutching a video game controller, lounged on the couch. However, household chores piled up, and Ennis's disinterest was palpable. Ennis, could you at least help set the table? Monica pleaded with a tone mixing frustration and sadness. Ennis barely glanced away from the screen. Later, Mom, I'm in the middle of an important mission. Anthony, visibly tired, tried to intervene. Ennis, son, you need to start thinking about your future. We can't go on like this. Ennis sighed and rolled his eyes. I'll get a job when I'm ready, Dad. Right now, I'm too busy with gaming. Ennis's parents exchanged a worried look as they continued their daily struggle to keep the household finances in order. The situation was becoming unsustainable and Ennis seemed indifferent to the pressure he was putting on his family. Ennis, the master of manipulation in his comfort zone, had an incredible ability to get his mother, Monica, to perform tasks for him while he remained immersed in his virtual world. He skillfully exploited this dynamic, always finding ways to keep his position unchanged on the couch. His parents, Anthony and Monica Levinson, were exhausted, and Ennis was well aware of it. With his video game controller firmly gripped and his eyes glued to the bright screen, Ennis felt invincible in his virtual realm. Mom, could you bring me a snack? He asked in a sweet voice, as if he were doing her a favor. Monica sighed and abandoned her activities in the kitchen. She knew this was a lost battle, but her motherly heart couldn't resist her son's requests. Of course, Ennis. What would you like? Ennis grinned triumphantly and replied, still keeping his eyes fixed on the screen. A ham sandwich, please. While Monica prepared the sandwich, her husband Anthony watched the scene with a mixture of frustration and concern. He knew that his son disappointed him daily, and the situation had been going on for years, with no signs of improvement. Anthony's graying hair and the wrinkles that marked his face were silent witnesses to the stress that the situation was causing. On a night when tension was particularly palpable, Anthony approached Monica and whispered, Monica, we need to do something. We can't go on like this. Ennis is draining our energy and resources. Monica sighed, looking at her son, who was now laughing loudly at his virtual victories. I know, Anthony, but we're afraid to kick him out. He doesn't seem ready for the outside world. Anthony nodded, understanding his wife's concern. The situation was becoming increasingly difficult, and the idea of confronting Ennis about his lack of responsibility and contribution to the family was a daunting task that terrified them both. While Ennis's life was a constant immersion in virtual games and an endless sequence of food deliveries to his door, his parents, Anthony and Monica Levinson, faced a silent nightmare. The Levinson's small house was a microcosm of glaring contrasts. The living room where Ennis spent most of his days was a technological sanctuary, a complex set of bright monitors, video game consoles, and an ergonomic gaming chair dominated the space. Ennis was always absorbed in his digital world, his face illuminated by the vibrant colors of the screen, his skillful fingers dancing on the controls. Mom, order an extra pepperoni pizza, he occasionally exclaimed, interrupting the household's tranquility. Meanwhile, in the modest kitchen, Ennis's parents, Anthony and Monica, lived a completely different reality. They maintained a small business selling cakes and sweets, but sales were far from satisfactory. The kitchen was a whirlwind of activity, with the oven working overtime to produce the delicious cakes that customers loved but rarely bought in sufficient quantities to sustain the family. Anthony, a man of stoic expression, struggled to keep the finances under control. 
while Monica, with tears in her eyes and tired hands, meticulously decorated the cakes with colorful frosting. The routine was exhausting, an incessant dance between mixers and dusty shelves of unsold cakes. While his parents worked tirelessly, Ennis seemed indifferent to the situation. He made constant demands for food and comfort, never contributing a cent or even getting up to help. His indifference to his parents' daily struggle was like a thorn in the family's heart, and the tension grew with each passing day. Each request from Ennis was like a cruel reminder of the lack of responsibility he demonstrated. His parents wondered if he would understand the gravity of the situation before it was too late. The situation was so dire that it seemed like a lost battle for Ennis's parents. However, a new person entered the Levinsons' lives with the arrival of Olivia, a young lawyer. She came like a whirlwind, carrying the promise of change. Her blonde hair cascaded over her shoulders, and her confident posture revealed a woman accustomed to facing challenges. Anthony and Monica Levinson welcomed Olivia with warm greetings when she visited their home for the first time. The hope that her presence could positively influence Ennis lit up their hearts. They saw in Olivia an opportunity to instill some sense of responsibility in the son they had raised. Olivia and Ennis began dating, and the dynamics of the house slowly started to change. Sometimes Monica would observe the two of them laughing in the living room, and her heart warmed at the idea that perhaps Ennis was finally maturing. Maybe he has finally found someone who inspires him to take a different path, she confided in Anthony. However, the hope for a better future quickly turned into disappointment. Instead of seeking a job and contributing to the household expenses, Ennis began making increasingly frequent requests for money to fund his outings with Olivia. Monica and Anthony watched helplessly as their son seemed to care less and asked for things more often. One day while Monica was in the kitchen, Ennis approached her, his expression anxious and his eyes avoiding eye contact. Mom, can I borrow some money? I promise I'll pay it back as soon as I get a better job. Monica sighed and looked at her son with sadness. Ennis, we're doing our best to keep the bills paid and you know that. You can't keep asking for money all the time. Ennis fell silent for a moment, but then his voice took on a more urgent tone. Mom, it's important. I have a date with Olivia, and I need to buy her a gift. Disillusionment weighed heavily on Monica as she handed the money to Ennis. The hope they had placed in him seemed to be fading, and she began to wonder if Olivia was aware of Ennis's true situation. The situation was reaching a critical point, and his parents knew that something needed to be done. Ennis's parents... Anthony and Monica lived in a constant state of bewilderment and concern. They wondered if Olivia, an educated and self-assured woman, was truly aware of Ennis's situation, which in their eyes was akin to being a freeloader living off others. Nights became long and restless, with the middle-aged couple whispering discussions in their bedroom, trying to find a solution to the dilemma haunting their family. The situation had become so critical that it was unsustainable for Ennis's parents. Now, dear viewers, I ask you, if you were Ennis' parents, what would you do? Would you sit down and talk? Would you compel him to find a job and contribute to household expenses? Would you kick him out of the house? Leave your opinion in the comments. Well, Ennis' parents went beyond. One morning, as the sun painted the sky with golden hues, Anthony and Monica finally made a difficult decision. Sitting in the kitchen, they exchanged looks laden with concern their tired faces reflecting years of silent anguish. Anthony broke the silence, his voice heavy with anxiety. Monica, I think it's time we confront the situation. We can't keep in this endless cycle of Ennis asking for money. Monica nodded, a silent tear streaming down her cheek. I know, Anthony, but we have to be careful. We don't want to push Ennis away from us. Anthony agreed. We need to find a way to resolve this so that he understands the impact of his actions. And so, after much reflection and sorrow, they decided to reveal the truth to Olivia. They felt it was the only way to find a solution to the unsustainable situation. Monica picked up the phone and called Olivia, gently asking her to come to the Levinson's house that afternoon. When Olivia arrived, the atmosphere was tense. They sat in the living room, uncertainty hanging in the air. Olivia, with her upright posture and keen gaze, immediately sensed the seriousness of the situation. Olivia, Monica began, her voice trembling. 
There's something you need to know about Ennis and our family. Monica and Anthony then shared Ennis' story, his struggles, and the financial dependency that had developed among them. Olivia listened attentively, her expression shifting from surprise to understanding. After the revelation, an uncomfortable silence filled the living room. Olivia finally spoke, her voice calm and thoughtful. I had no idea about Ennis' situation and I'm so sorry for him and for you in this situation. I truly am sorry for what you've been through. Let's find a way to help him change. Relief flooded Anthony and Monica as they began to see a glimmer of hope. They knew the journey wouldn't be easy, but they finally felt they weren't alone in their struggle to save their family. After the devastating revelation, Olivia found herself immersed in an ocean of carefully woven lies by Ennis. That relationship she had thought was built on trust and love had turned into a painful mirage. Sitting in the Levinson's living room, she was trying to process the flood of information she had just received. The conversation flowed until the biggest lie of all from Ennis was presented. Ennis told his girlfriend that he was supporting his parents, doing everything for them, and that the house was his, and his parents lived there out of necessity. Monica's eyes were filled with sadness as she spoke. Olivia, we're so sorry we didn't tell you sooner. The truth is, Ennis doesn't take care of us and the house isn't his. Olivia, with a trembling voice, replied, I don't understand. Ennis always told me he was responsible for taking care of you. He said the house was his, that he was doing everything to keep you comfortable. Anthony, with a heavy sigh, added, Ennis built a castle of lies and we allowed it to happen. We thought it was the only way to protect him but we now realize we were only making things worse. Olivia, looking from one distressed face to another, felt disoriented. She thought about all the conversations, all the stories Ennis had shared with her about his elderly parents and the house he supposedly took care of. The sense of betrayal left her stunned. After a long pause, Olivia gathered her determination and spoke firmly. I can't continue with someone who built a relationship on lies. This isn't what I want for my life. Ennis's parents agreed with Olivia's decision, and they knew it was time to face reality and take drastic action to help their son. With Olivia's assistance, they planned a way to bring Ennis to reality, and thus they decided that the only way was to take legal action against him. It was a painful measure, but they hoped it could be the reality check that Ennis desperately needed. And so, the decision was made. A legal letter was sent, summoning Ennis to appear in a court hearing. Olivia and Ennis's parents hoped that this drastic action would be the first step for Ennis to face the consequences of his lies and set a new course for his life. The day of the court hearing was cold and gloomy, as if the weather itself was reflecting the tension hanging over the Levinson family. Ennis, now alone at home, faced an uncertainty he had never experienced before. The silence of the house echoed around him, and the emptiness in his chest was palpable. On the morning of the hearing, Anthony and Monica left without saying a word to Ennis. They had left behind an atmosphere of anguish and despair, carrying with them a legal letter describing the details of the case. The crumpled paper contained the words Ennis feared facing, legal action against him filed by his own parents. Standing at the empty front door, Ennis stared at the letter with a lump in his throat. The words were a brutal reminder of the choices he had made, and the consequences that were now knocking at his door. With a heavy sigh, he folded the paper and tucked it into his pocket, knowing he could no longer postpone the inevitable. The courtroom hearing was an intimidating experience for Ennis. The majestic courthouse building seemed imposing, and the sound of footsteps echoing through the empty corridors made him feel small and vulnerable. When he entered the courtroom, the gravity of the situation weighed heavily on him. The judge, a stern figure with glasses perched on his nose, sat high on his podium. Ennis watched as the lawyers representing his parents and Olivia prepared to present the case. The words of witnesses and legal arguments filled the air, and Ennis felt like he was in a nightmare. Finally, it was time for Ennis to give his testimony. He stood up, feeling the accusing gaze of his parents and the disappointment in Olivia's eyes. The words slowly came out of his mouth as he admitted his lack of contribution to the family. The judge, after hearing all parties, banged the gavel with authority. Based on the evidence presented, it is my decision that Ennis's parents have the right to take the necessary steps to protect their own financial interests. 
Ennis has not significantly contributed to the family, and it is time to face the responsibilities that fall upon him. The court's decision was a harsh blow to Ennis, and he felt a mix of anger and sadness. Olivia, though devastated by the twists in Ennis's life, knew it was a necessary measure to force change. The legal battle had ended, but Ennis's journey toward redemption was just beginning. When the hearing came to an end, Ennis walked out of the courtroom with his head lowered and the weight of defeat crushing his shoulders. He realized that his lack of responsibility and selfish behavior had led to this situation. It was a painful awakening, and a single solitary tear escaped his eyes. Olivia, her eyes filled with sadness and disappointment, approached Ennis after the hearing. I can't continue with someone who lies to me and doesn't face their responsibilities, she said, her voice choked with emotion. The separation from Olivia was a devastating blow to Ennis. He was alone, sinking into an abyss of self-reflection and remorse. It was in this dark moment that Ennis finally decided to change his life. Determined to rebuild his relationship with his parents and show Olivia that he could be a better person, Ennis started his journey to redemption. He left home and found a job as a waiter at a local restaurant, wearing a pristine uniform that contrasted with his former indifference toward life. He pushed himself to the limit, learning the intricacies of hard work and dedicating himself to each task diligently. The life of a waiter was challenging, but Ennis was determined to prove his worth. Every sincere smile from a satisfied customer reminded him of how unfair he had been to his parents, who worked tirelessly to take care of him. Over time, Ennis began to realize that effort and dedication could bring rewards. He was committed to repairing the damage he had caused to his parents and to himself. The court's decision and the loss of Olivia had awakened him to reality, and he was determined to become the person his parents had always believed he could be. Time passed, and a year had gone by since the courtroom hearing that had changed the course of Ennis's life. The transformation that had taken place during this period was palpable, visible to the naked eye. Ennis returned to his parents' home not only as a changed man, but as someone who had been reborn. He walked up to the front door and the sound of his footsteps reverberated in the silence of the quiet street. His impeccably tailored, stylish suit contrasted with the unkempt image he had sported for so long. Every movement was filled with confidence, and his face, now free from the shadow of the past, radiated firm determination. When Ennis entered the living room, his parents, Anthony and Monica, met his eyes. Surprise and joy mingled on their tired faces, and the hope that had long faded now reignited. Anthony looked at his son with pride, his eyes moist. Ennis, you look like a completely different man. We are so proud of you. Monica, with a radiant smile, added, we never lost faith in you, son. We knew you had incredible potential. Ennis expressed his gratitude to his parents, words flowing from his renewed heart. You took a drastic measure to push me to change and I will never forget it. I'm sorry for all the times I disappointed you. His transformation didn't stop at his appearance. Ennis now had a job as a manager at the local restaurant where his leadership skills and dedication were recognized. Who would have thought that he would go from being a burden to his parents? someone who hardly got up from in front of screens, to becoming a restaurant manager. He had grown so much that he even got a new car, a tangible symbol of his progress. Ennis also decided to try to reconnect with Olivia, the woman who had left him due to his actions and lies. With humility, he reached out to her and shared his journey of redemption. Olivia, after seeing the real change in Ennis, realized that he was genuinely committed to his transformation. The two rekindled their relationship with a deeper understanding and a stronger connection than before. The Levinson family, which had once been filled with tension, became a place of love and support. The second chance given to Ennis resulted in a profound transformation, not only in his life, but in the lives of everyone around him. They learned that sometimes drastic measures are necessary to promote change and open doors to a more promising future. The Levinson family went through a period of hardships that tested their limits and their ability to rise again. Ennis's transition from an irresponsible young man to a transformed man was not an easy journey, but each obstacle he faced served as a step in his climb towards redemption. Mornings in the Levinson household now began with a different energy. The sun streamed through the windows and illuminated the living room, 
bringing with it a sense of renewal. The tensions that used to hang in the air had dissipated, replaced by an aura of acceptance and mutual support. Breakfast was a special time for the family. Gathered around the kitchen table, Anthony, Monica, Ennis, and Olivia shared laughter and stories. The bitter memories of the past seemed distant as everyone reconnected like never before. Ennis now played an active role in household chores after moving back in with his parents, helping to prepare breakfast and taking care of the home he had once neglected. Monica watched with pride as her son washed the dishes with care and attention, something she had never imagined seeing. Olivia, who had decided to give Ennis a second chance, also noticed the profound change in her partner. She was impressed with his commitment to becoming a better person, and their connection grew deeper with each passing day. In the evening, the family gathered to share their experiences and plans for the future. The conversations were filled with hope and determination, and everyone was focused on building a more promising future together. The Levinson home was no longer a place of conflict and despair, but rather a refuge of love and support. They had learned the hard way that sometimes drastic measures are necessary to promote change. This journey of transformation brought a deeper understanding of the value of family and the importance of facing life's challenges together. As time passed, the Levinson family continued to strengthen and grow, always remembering that with love, patience, and commitment, they could overcome any obstacle life presented to them. It was a living testament that even in the toughest situations, love and resilience can open doors to a brighter and more promising future. That was the story. Thank you for watching until the end. And until next time.